One morning, a very small puppy woke up in a brand new doghouse. He sniffed at the cozy dark inside. And he licked at the bright new outside. Then he blinked his eyes and looked all around the big busy barnyard. It's a wonderful place, but oh my, isn't it big? Just as he said that, all the big barnyard animals came running up to him. Are you the new watchdog? The little puppy liked that watchdog idea. He wagged his tail. I guess I am. Well then, let's hear your big watchdog bark. The puppy stood up tall and he barked. Did you hear anything? We heard something. It sounded like a squeaky shoe. I thought it sounded like a baby robin calling its mother. All the animals laughed and ran away very busily and the puppy went into his new house. Maybe my barking isn't all it should be, he said and he ran out in the sunshine to practice. But before he had time for one yip, a great big black dog came bounding up. That big dog tasted the puppy's milk. Puppy food. I'll come back when you have some real food for me to eat up. The puppy felt so cross that he barked until the big dog was out of sight. Yip, yip, yip. A field mouse on its way to the corn crib heard that little bark. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! I have baby mice at home who can bark louder than that! Is that so? cried the puppy. I'll bite you into three pieces. I'll bite! But the mouse was gone. It had disappeared in the corn crib. Well, I guess I scared him all right. And then he heard all the mice in the corn crib laughing. Yip, 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 yip. He looked for something bigger to scare, and just as it was getting dark, he saw something much bigger. I'll have to bark louder than ever this time. Bow, wow, wow! Squeaked the fox. <coughs> Bow, wow! Now I know how to scare the wits out of anything. All I have to do is hide and empty something before I bark. And he trotted back to his brand new house. Early the next morning, a family of very hungry rabbits hopped into the farm garden. The rooster crowed. Rabbits in the cabbage patch! Spoiling the whole cabbage patch! The puppy woke up with a start. The rabbit stopped eating just long enough to laugh at the sleepy little bark. Oh bad. Oh good! Now for my best rabbit scaring bark. Bow, wow, Watch wow! At least four great big ones! milk pail. Then he thought he might find something still louder. He nosed all around the farm, barking in every empty thing he found. Bow, wow. He barked in a milk can. And he barked in a big round pipe. Bow, wow. And then one day he found an old oil drum. He climbed in that and barked. Where's that big black dog now? liked that oil drum bark. He practiced it every day, and every day his own little bark grew bigger and bigger. But he never noticed that. Bow, wow, wow. The farmer didn't like all this noise. You're a fine watchdog little puppy, but you're gonna have to use your own little bark after tomorrow because I'm gonna clean up the farm. The next day while the farmer worked, the puppy ran at his heels. Don't take my pail! He barked. Don't take my oil drum! Don't take my milk can! Or that old pipe! But into the junk wagon they went. All my barking things are gone. Now what will I do when that big black dog comes back? And the very minute he said that, along came the big black dog. He licked up all the puppy's milk and then he picked up the puppy's new chewing bone. That was too much for the little puppy. He ran at the big black dog, barking for all he was worth. By this time his own bark was a big bow wow wow. 
The big dog was so scared he ran away and never came back. Everybody on the farm came running out to see that chase. Just look at our watchdog and just listen to his bark. The farmer's wife was so pleased that she brought out an old soft pillow. It will make a nice bed for our watchdog. The farmer brought out a dish of gravy and a new chewing bone. Then he filled the puppy's bowl with cream. When the little puppy got back to his house, he was the most surprised puppy in the whole world. First he barked a good-sized bark to say thank you, and then he began to eat. He ate until his little sides were as round as a pumpkin. He tried out his lovely new bed. It was so soft and comfortable that he almost fell asleep, but he had one more thing to do. The little puppy stood up on his four little feet, and just to make sure he was really a watchdog at last, he barked his loudest kind of bark. Bow, wow! 